Welcome on the Kinematics channel. Today we are going to be solving this equation uh, and we shall be finding the values of x if x squared plus brackets x over x plus 1 into squared is equal to 15. The best way is not by expansion. Someone may think of expanding this equation. However, when you expand it, you will make it complicated because it will become degree 4. However, we can solve this equation using quadratic skills. This is what I mean. Uh, just in the beginning, this is power 2 is shared by the numerator and the denominator. So you can write it as x squared divided by x plus 1 into squared. You can look at it and see x squared is common here also. So you can factor it out to have it appear like that. After we have factorized x squared outside, let's try to get the denominator to get the LCM and factor it out to, the, to try to simplify the numerator. This is what I mean. And the LCM is x squared plus 1. So this is it here. And the next step, I'm going to expand it to have it appear like that. You can see this is 2x and this will be plus 2. That's why the next step, I'm factorizing out the 2 to have it appear in this form. Now you can see this is x plus 1, this is also x plus 1. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to split the numerator, this is what I mean. So here x plus 1 will be cancelling here, this will be degree 1, and here it will stay as it, it was. This is what I am writing, x squared over this, and this 2 over that. Now let's think of entering the power, the x squared which is here outside. Let's try to enter it inside. Here we shall be having x squared into squared plus 2. This is what I mean. This is what you shall be having. And by observation, you can see something similar. As we agreed, if it is the same power, this is 2, this is also power 2. So you can write it in the same bracket, but all squared 2. And when you do that, there is a common thing that will arise. You shall be having an equation appearing in this way. Observe. I think you can see something similar. So let's try to let this be t. That's what I said, you can solve this equation using quadratic scales and simply. So let this x squared over x plus one be t. Multiply both sides by x plus one to have it appear like that. So you can solve this quadratic equation to find the value of x, which will be t plus or minus using the bulldozer quadratic equation. So when we get the value of t, we shall be sub just substituting in this equation to have x. Now we have this quadratic in terms of t. We know how to solve it. Bring the 15 this on the, on the left to have it appear like this. And you can use factorization or you can use the quadratic formula to solve. Using factorization, you shall be having t minus 3 times t plus 5 being equal to 0. Solve this to find the value of t, either t is a theory or t is negative 5. Remember we said we shall be just substituting the value of t in our equation. Now for t is equal to 3, we shall be having theory into 3 squared plus 4 times theory. We are using the other formula that we developed up there. And this is what you shall be having. Still when t is equal to negative 5, you shall be just be substituting the equation and we shall be having this value here. In other words, the values of x are generally these ones, they are 4, and I have studied with the smallest to the biggest. These are the values of x. I think you have seen how simply it is when you use the quadratic skills. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe on my channel because many, many funny things, many enjoyable mathematical skills are still coming. Thank you.